look at July 13th. And the reason I want to bring your attention there is if you look at that little violet flame emission coming out there right by that one and the three, that is literally the moment. It is a fifth dimensional full mastery super moon. And the reason we use Eastern time in 2022 was because when this information was blessed to move through my hands to prepare, what was so clear was that this year would be affected by things that happen in the Eastern time zone. And so 508 ET is going to be when that full mastery super moon will reach that peak moment and that squares our 13 with the infinite on the 13th day. Now, what does that mean? It means that the seven days of hope that are now ignited the nine days of unification will land square on the 13th at a moment where in the energy of the one and the one, all energies are receiving that mastery up level in that peak experience. All energy is neutral. What's meeting that energy in this extraordinary force of the double cross of the infinite is what's going to affect the sea of neutrality. The sea of neutrality, imagine it, feel your hands, right? You guys feeling your hands, you feel your hands straight? Yeah, I'm yeah, like, oh, I'm this is fun, it. right? I'm really <laughs> feeling my hands as I was trying to get all of our hands in here today. So as we're feeling our hands, imagine, you might want to play along with me right now and put your hands up, right? So you want to keep your arms up about, you know, shoulder right here and just allow yourself as, as much as you can, you know, palms facing each other. There we are. And I always like to try and keep high heart, you know, right here, high heart. So you just want to try and keep your high heart. And as you're feeling that, keep them open. I'm, I'm about, I don't know, three, four inches apart, but hold them steady. There you are. Breathing in, exhale through them. Yeah. Allow that smile to come in because that's the sea of neutrality. You're breathing it into form right now. You're breathing it into your palms. You are as I am, the divine in form now, igniting this beautiful sea of neutrality as this space. And so just, just even if you want to imagine it, offer this beautiful flowing water to come through because it's that flowing water. It's that space of creation. It's this beautiful oval energy, this creation seed that is the July experience. And the apex for humanity is going to be on July 13. And that energy, and, and let's put up the Ascended Numerology. Sure. I wanna show it to you with the Ascended Numerology because this actually ties into the Pyramid of Peace and the Yucatan Re Revelations. So let's start right here. This is the Ascended Numerology for July. And as all of you know, I only ever do these two months in advance because in any potentiality, I really don't want to have any form of insider knowledge. You know, I was trying to keep it really tight. So this is, of course, the ancient system of the Magi that takes in the totality of the 13 in our infinite presence. So right now, July 2022 is an eight, which came in as the 17 which the one plus the seven is an igniting presence of infinite nature. Plus we are in the infinite presence. So if you look at the wheel, you don't even need to understand it. Just breathe it in and look at it. Because right now we're sitting in the zero. We're sitting in our space of infinite creation. Everything about this month is seed of creation, seed of creation, seed of creation. Feel your hands as I'm sharing this with you. Just keep noticing that that sea of neutrality energy, right? Sea of creation, sea of creation. So here we are dancing in this beautiful sea of infinite presence. And look where we're going. We're right now where that little dotted line coming up off of that E heading into that 11. And there really is an, a, a beautiful gift. You know, the universe is so lovingly smile filled, right? I love how they've hit us twice with you're at the 11 o'clock hour, right? It's like ding, ding humanity. And so that's what's happening on July 13. We're hitting the second ding, ding humanity. And then we get to really traverse that until we get to July 22nd. July 22nd is the wild card moment. And, and this is an, an incredible thing about July. And the reason we had, and remember, you know, I, I, I did this several months ago. 
and it's still very, very there, this wild card moment is because of the 13th. And that's why bringing a thousand points of light together on July, on Wednesday, July 13th matters. Yes. And, 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 you know, Shri and I have never, if I need to get down on my knees and say, help us put a thousand people together, global meditation for consciousness of humanity is an ignition on July 13th. It is our gathering of the global Minga for positive shift. And when Shri and I were in the Yucatan and when this first came forward, which was several months ago, when I yeah. did the July, the, the July <laughs> revelations and literally just sat back and took about a couple hours to just really integrate what July really meant. And here's the gift, the one and the one, the one and the one is the reflection, is it not? Yes. And so yeah. when we are able to sustain the unified field of the sea of neutrality simply through, I am here, we are able to up level the gift within so that our presence may become the healer for all that are.